I like, I like to call the special call meeting of Thursday, April the 11th, 2019, at 9 a.m. to order. Uh, Sharon, roll call, please. Here. 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 Okay, we'll have a prayer by Alderman Richard Bowen immediately following um, the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for the day you've given to us. Such a beautiful day to enjoy, and, and thank you for the freedom we have to do this. And Lord, we ask you to be with us today as we go through these business part of the city and may the decisions we make here today be to the city's liking and to your liking. So Lord again, thank you for many blessings. Thank you for the people that's here this morning that came out for the meeting. For these things we ask in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we're down to the first session of the citizens' comments. Come to the podium and give your name, address, and phone number if you have a comment. Okay, if not, we'll move on to a motion to a. Oh, your excuse come. Carolyn Payne, 4818 Bluff City Highway. You got the men. I mean. Since the when, since what is on the agenda today is the resolution of 2019-003, and it has something to do with the debt, Bluff City's debt management policy is, and there was no copy attached to the agenda. This is my opportunity to really ask questions. Because once you vote on it today, first reading, second, you want to have a second reading, you want to have a public hearing, and is it going to be a line by line? Is there a dollar amount attached to it? Uh, are we going to write, write off the entire 132000 uh, What? Sharon, before she goes any further, will you tell her what this is, please? It's just a policy that to go forward with our action as far as paying for things from a bank and make sure we get the cheapest amounts for rates and all this stuff, correct? It's not any... It's the of the office. So it's, it's not writing off bad debt? No. no. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. It's just a policy. That, that's, that it's sounds good. How we so. All right. Thanks. Huh. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. I'll give you my coffee when we get finished. Have it. I, I wish they would always be attached to the agenda. Okay, okay we'll move on. <coughs> <coughs> A motion to approve regular meeting minutes of March the 5th, 2019. Do we have a motion? Make a motion approve. I'll second. Take a vote, please, Sharon. Alderman Ward? Yes. 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 Okay. And the next one is the motion to approve the regular meeting minutes of April the 2nd, 2019. Do we have a motion? I'll make the motion to approve. I'll second. Take a vote, please. Alderman Yes. 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 Okay, discussion and action on resolution number 2019-003, uh, Financial Officer Sharon Green. Resolution number 2019-003, a resolution to approve and adopt the Town of Bluff City's debt management policy. Whereas the Town of Bluff City debt management policy has been reviewed, approved, and adopted by the Board of Mayor and Aldermen of the Town of Bluff City, therefore be it resolved 
by the Board of Mayor and Aldermen of the Town of Bluff City, Tennessee, that the Town of Bluff City's debt management policy, which is attached here to, to approve and adopt by the Board of Mayor and Aldermen of the Town of Bluff City, Tennessee, on the date written herein. That this resolution shall become effective from and after its final passage, the public welfare requiring it. Okay. Do we have a motion to approve? So, we got a motion on the floor. Do we have a? Do we have a motion? She yeah. just read what's down there. Introduction. She it's um, the goals of this policy is to assist the decision makers in planning, issuing, and managing debt obligations by providing clear direction as to the steps, substance, and outcomes desired. In addition, greater long-term stability will be generated by the use of the consistent guideline, guidelines in issuing debt. The town's objective are to enhance internal financial management by achieving the lowest cost of capital, ensuring high credibility quality, credit quality, quality, assure access to capital markets, preserve financial flexibilities, and manage various forms of risk and exposure. So basically, it's just how we're going forward of managing, paying the debts and stuff like that. It's just a, um, a, a policy, basically. Yeah, and all utility, all cities and counties have to send a copy to the comptroller's office. So do we have do we have a motion? I'll make a motion to approve. Do we have a second? I'll Take a vote, please, Jan. Alderman Ford. <coughs> yes. Vice Mayor Harrington. Yes. Alderman Bowling. Yes. Okay, and the next thing on the agenda is citizen comments. If you have a comment, come to the podium. David Harmon, two hundred hosts to drive. So this if you didn't pass this today, it couldn't wait till our regular meeting? Basically, if we didn't pass it, we couldn't have. Uh, Eastman Credit Union, the one we got our loans through the cars, yeah. wouldn't have started paying. We had to have a debt policy in place for them to start paying for the cars, to get our money to pay the cars. Basically. The, comp the comptroller's office. Demanded that you do this today? He couldn't wait till the regular meeting? We've already they got the cars. Said they yeah. Thought okay. I mean, we've already got the cars on hand, and we didn't. Yeah, I saw one riding around the other day. Right. Okay, thank you. Sir. And the money has been has already been approved anyway by the board. Yeah. Okay. We so. weren't aware that we had to have it. Okay. If no other comments, uh, do we have a motion to adjourn? Make a motion to adjourn. Have a second. Take a vote, please, Chair. Alderman Ward. Yes. Vice Mayor Harrington. Yes. Alderman Bowen. Yes. Thank you. <clears throat>